Aloha YouTube. This is your boy Crypto Roots. And I got the world's largest, dopest NFT alt punks collection on the internet. I will leave a link down in the description. You can check out my punks. Are they all fire? If you want to make a bid or want to buy one of my punks, holler at me. You know what I'm saying? You can do it on OpenSea. And if you want to help me hustle my punks, I'll break bread with you. Check them all out. Much love. Peace. Aloha YouTube, this is your boy Crypto Roots and I'm back at it again spitting Mo Crypto Game. Shouts out to my new subscribers, I really, really do appreciate it. Another beautiful day in Mexico on the ranch. A lot of, a lot of major changes going on in my life. So it's kind of exciting, kind of exciting. So I get paid off the FUD. What does that mean for new people? What is FUD? FUD, acronyms for fear, uncertainty, and doubt. Why would, why would anyone care about fear, uncertainty, and doubt? Well, the more fear, uncertainty, and the doubt the masses experience in a particular stock or cryptocurrency or asset, that affects your return on investment, right? That's like buying Bitcoin at the at the top you didn't know it was a top but until elon musk posted something negative until china came out and then it dropped then you realize you bought the top because you saw double digit green what happened there was a lot of fud a lot of fud came and crashed your bags and other people walked away with your money so fud is very important remember these mar these markets are a collective consciousness all right everybody has the same goals to make money everybody has the same fears not to lose money so get in tune with the FUD but understand that's just a part of the game those are like the bullets that are going to be shot at your bags and, and your psyche right so fear uncertainty and doubt crashes prices crashes prices so you can be prepared for that you can actually profit off that one way you can do that is short selling the market okay now, I don't necessarily believe in sh short selling. I feel it's very risky, but there's a lot of things and a lot of currencies that go down, especially in cryptocurrencies. There's always ways to make money, but how can you also profit off the price of something going up and going down? All right, so I don't know if you've heard of it, Million Token by Tech Lead. I've been following the Tech Lead for quite some time. The dude is hilarious. I think he's funny and you know, He's very sarcastic, but he has been spreading crypto FUD a lot. And all of a sudden he came out with his own token. I don't know if it was like a joke or a meme. I don't know if it is or it's not, but I was, I immediately was intrigued when I found out about it. Um, and so was a lot of his fans. He has over a million subscribers. So yeah, we all fumbled into it. And the price when I got in around $3, you know, and the price hit about 40 bucks. And I'm like, yo, I didn't want to put too much into it because I didn't know, you know what can happen, but I did want to get more of the asset without having to pay for more of it. And I've spent so much money on NFTs and all types of things. So I'm like, how can I get more of this token without having to pay for it? And the price started crashing down. And I'm like, all right, cool. You know what? The best thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna join the Uni pool. So Uniswap just launched with version three, concentrated liquidity. It's a whole brand new concept when it comes to being a liquidity provider. Now, I decided I wasn't gonna mess with being an LP. There was too many negative, I pretty much lost more money LPing than I made. And I was kind of just staying away and concentrated. I was like, I don't, want, I don't know. But then I realized, you know what? You need to figure this out. You need to figure out price ranges for your liquidity. And so, you know what? I, I had some million token. I took the million token that I invested and I threw it into a liquidity pool. And I initially fucked up at first. I set my price range. I added my million token liquidity with my ETH to the pool. And I just waited back, you know what I'm saying? Waiting for those fees to come in. Well, an hour, a couple hours, a couple hours later, the price then shot back up. And I looked at my pool position, seeing how much fees I'm collecting. I'm out of range, which means I'm not collecting any fees, which means it sold off most of my asset to the other asset in the liquidity pool. It's a lot of complicated shit, I guess. But I realized, damn, man, this is a headache. Why can't I just get the whole range? And I'm like, fuck. And the only way to change your price ranges is to uh, remove liquidity. 
So I remove uh, my liquidity and I put it back in and then I got a wider range, a wider range in case this price really goes moons or dumps. And right now it's been, it's been a blessing. It's been a great investment because I'm collecting the fees as the price goes up and goes down. And it's so new. It's only the first three or four days since it's launched. This is a very volatile and there's so much FUD. So I actually got more of the million token as everybody was selling off because that's how LPs work, right? So I got more of the token nobody wanted, but he just dropped a video, uh, you know, dismissing uh, all the FUD, explaining everybody's fears, explaining them out, and now the price is back up and people are more excited about the project. And now I have more of the token now that the price is going back up. So I'm actually making even more money. And I had only had a little bit of million token, but as everybody was, you know, was selling off, I got more of the token without having to pay for more of it. Now, as the price is going back up, I have more to sell off and collect. Dude, so what I really want to say is I get paid off the FUD. And it's actually exciting because there's a term called volatility harvesting. So I make more money as the price goes up and down, being a liquidity provider, especially within your range. See, these are all the little nuances of, you know, tokenomics and uh, liquidity pools, the centralized exchange, automated market makers, cryptocurrency. These are all the little things that can, you, that can either break or make you. You know, you either make more money or lose more money, lose more money, not knowing how these things work or knowing how they work. So, yeah, that's how I got more of an asset that I didn't have to pay for by because there was so much FUD in the market, you know, that people sold off their asset to me. And now that that FUD is being dismissed, I can have more to sell back to them as the price goes up. So it's a beautiful thing. And I'm actually really starting to appreciate UniV3 concentrated liquidity. It wasn't what I expected, but I'm starting to see the benefits because I'm getting more fees sooner within my price range, the way it works. It's, 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 it's beautiful. So that's a lot going on. That's a lot going on. But there's what I really want to express that there's always a way to make money in these markets. All right. Holla at your boy, Crypto Roots. Much love. Peace.